We're going to head over into the kitchen where our zoo is preparing something fun. Thank you, Meredith. Today I'm going to show you how to make a puff pastry turnovers. I love mushrooms, so today is our feeling is mushrooms. I have some porcini mushrooms, and I have some shiitake mushrooms, and I have scallions, I have tarragon, salt and pepper to flavor, and I have heavy cream. And then I have my beautiful puff pastry, a French called pâté feuillette. It originated from France, and, but we widely use it all around the world <coughs> now. Then I have egg yolk to brush it on top. Mm. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Puff pastry. That's Five. a French tradition, huh? Uh-huh. Excellent. So um, I already started sautéing some uh, shallots, mm -hmm. mushrooms, and I uh, add a little bit of cream. Okay. I'm going to season with some salt, like half teaspoon, and pepper. Excellent. I see you've got some herbs there that you're going to add into. Yes, yes, yes. You know I love herbs. Oh, yeah. Herbs, herbs really gives the characteristic of the filling. And I like to use them fresh as much as I can. It really brightens everything up. Yeah. These are my tarragons. You, during the summer, I grow them in the garden. Mm. But right now, unfortunately, well, it's course. not the time. <laughs> so we buy them. They're anise. Mm. Uh -huh. They're wonderful and gives wonderful t uh, aroma to your um, pastry uh, dishes or, you know, seafood, anything, mm. you know, chicken. Wonderful. That is a great scent. So I'm just chopping a little bit more. Now, I, I heard you said uh, porcini mushrooms and um, another type of mushrooms. Why do you choose those? Are there certain mushrooms that complement oh, each other? Oh, it's just, um, you know, any kind of fresh mushroom, mushrooms can work well. Yeah. Today, I found them. You know, I like to combine them. Button mushrooms, you can use it. Really, they're all fine. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. It makes it flexible. So we mix them. We have the filling. Mm -hmm. Then I have my dough. This is, as I said, the, uh, we call it pâté feuilleté in the cooking techniques. It's mm -hmm. puff pastry. It's a dough layered by chilled butter uh, to make this thin. And it's after uh, layering six, eight times. And then you fold them each in between. Really? So mm -hmm. this has six or eight layers inside with butter in between yeah. each of them and then it's just yeah, pressed it's down? Yeah, very rich, delicate dough. Oh my. And then you let it sit <coughs> at least six to eight hours or overnight mm -hmm. in the refrigerator. Mm. Then you roll them all once and it comes like and that. And it comes out thin mm -hmm. like that. Oh wow. So what we got to do, we That's have a nice... That's why it tastes so buttery. <laughs> <laughs> rectangular here. Mm -hmm. All right. And then... Actually, I'm going to take half of this right now out. So if you want to, if you're not using, if you're freezing, you can just do like this. Oh, and wrap fold it, it up. in a, a clear wrap first. Mm -hmm. And the fol a folio, you can freeze it or keep it in the refrigerator. Okay. The other half, I dusted a little flour. And I'm going to dust it a little bit more. Oh, that's <laughs> salt. <laughs> <laughs> a little salt never uh -oh, hurts. Oh, <laughs> a little salt. And with my rolling pin, I'm going to make it a little bit more thinner. Okay? Mm hmm So, the both ways, maybe. Just thin it. Oops. All right. Let me take this away from there. Then, I'm going to cut this in half. Mm hmm Just coming through. Mm hmm Coming through you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And here is little pieces that I don't want it. You can take it off. And if, in fact, you can roll so them. So just cleaning up those ends. Cleaning up those ends. And okay. if you want it, you can roll them out with mm -hmm. some sugar and cinnamon. You can make some little sweet things out oh, of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Little twists. That would mm -hmm. be good. And then we'll cut some squares. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's say this much. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. And, yep, put them like this. It's so much easier to buy the, pus, pu, the pastry already made than to make it yourself, although I'm oh, sure it's yeah. wonderful when you yeah, make it yourself. Yeah, Are there certain things that you look for when you're buying a pu pastry Yeah, um, 
And, you know, there are some brands, but they look for all natural one, not with the chemicals in it. They're a little bit more expensive, mm -hmm. but I know some good, really, companies make really fresh dough. And it's worth it. And it's worth it. Excellent. And once you buy it, you know, you can make lots of things out of it. You know, you can also make, you know, Napoleon with cream, pastry cream. Mm. You can make croissant, chocolate croissant, almond croissant. Um, you know, sweet or savory, you can make tons of different things with this pastry. So I put a tablespoon of filling. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make triangles. Just put the edges down. But you know, I'm just pushing them down. Mm -hmm. and just place it over here. And this uh, dough is so buttery, you don't need to butter oh, it. Of course. <laughs> Great. So I'll make one more, and then if you like to try, I'll give you one. So these would be two. great appetizers. Oh sure, sounds good. Sure. Just these would be these. really good. Oh, these are wonderful when they come out warm from the oven. Mm. They're so wonderful. Mm -hmm. So just the edges. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Let's see. There we go. Mm -hmm. I always have a tendency to put too much filling in. It's because it looks so good, and then it always <laughs> leaks out. <laughs> right? There we go. Okay, thank you. Here, there, now some egg uh, next to you. It'll taste the same. <laughs> and Great. And if you want to take it and just whisk it a little bit, okay. and then brush them. Just a little bit of egg yolk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'll just take this out mm -hmm. from your way. Here now also with that puff pastry, I made some, the uh, more you, you know, the more golden you it gets. Oh, take yeah. a look, nice puffs. Uh, I mean, you need special equipment to do this. And they also sell in the uh, freezer section, they do this kind of puff pastry. If you go to special places, oh. they have smaller, big ones. You know, you just bake them and take off the middle. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then, again, where is our mushroom filling? So we'll spoon the filling in between. Oh, this couldn't middle. get any easier. <laughs> and yet the presentation is going to look great. Sure. And how long did you have to cook these for? Oh, yeah, the, uh, it, in 375 preheated oven, mm -hmm. uh, I would cook for 10, 15 minutes. Oh, great. So you can be cooking these up at the same time that you're whipping up the uh, mushroom filling. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. And, uh, yeah, puff pastry cooks very quick. They rise fast. You know, all the butter and steam mm. comes from the middle. It's wonderful. You know, it's rich, but you know, depends on how, it's like everything else. Everything in moderation is good. How much you eat, you need to enjoy what you're eating. If you give yourself too much stress, that shows in your face too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. So, these are going to be nice. And um, I have Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. Any kind of sharp cheese is good. Okay, I'm just putting it over. Excellent. And how uh -huh. long will we put these in the oven for? 10, 15 minutes. Okay, and 10, this could minutes. go a little longer, probably 25, 30 minutes, because these are cooked already. Okay. For this, we're making really warm temperature and melting the cheese. Then serve it right away. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> oh, our zoo has brought this gorgeous cake out of the oven, the Queen of Sheba cake. Mm -hmm. And our turnovers look gorgeous, too. They're all golden brown. Thank you. Oh, Thank sure. you. So I will decorate them with fresh raspberries, oh, beautiful. some almonds, mm. and maybe a little bit of mint. Excellent. That okay. sounds great. Start decorating. And of course, I can't wait to taste. So I'm getting the plates and the forks already. <laughs>